AFib is one of those things that once you have it, it begets AFib, and eventually people tend to go into AFib permanently. Um, there is treatment for it, such as rate or rhythm control. And so it's one of those things that if you do catch it, that you want to protect yourself, especially from um, strokes and those kinds of things. So once you're diagnosed with AFib, your chances of having a stroke becomes fivefold. And so that's probably the biggest kind of danger or risk whenever you have AFib. And so it's something that you want to make sure that if you do have it, that you're protected from that. Um, you're also at a twofold higher chance of mortality and threefold higher chance of having heart failure. People are dynamic, so patients have different symptoms. I mean, patients uh, tolerate AFib uh, in, in different ways. Um, but the majority of patients definitely know when they're in atrial fibrillation, and it affects their lifestyle. Uh, people have significant shortness of breath. Um, their endurance is a lot lower, and they can't really do the things they want to do. Um, activities, uh, running, uh, playing sports, uh, or just even going to the grocery store is sometimes affected uh, when your AFib is out of control. Here at OSU Cardiovascular Medicine, our, our clinic is composed of both um, cardiologists and cardiovascular surgeons. So we are going to approach AFib in a collaborative manner, hybrid, so to speak. Um, and um, we're focusing our attentions on being very aggressive with AFib early on in the diagnosis.